what was what what can have a a common what can have a commonality about them both is you need to be kind to both. So if you're if you're being kind to your connections but not so kind to yourself, try bridging that gap of understanding, uh, bridging that bridging bridging that gap and be kind to yourself. If you're only being kind to yourself, let's say you can't stand anybody else, you say you're not a people person. Let's say you're buying yourself all these gifts for yourself um, or you're 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 only telling yourself how beautiful you are and how great you are and everything, you know, and you're only really working on yourself. Are you having any connections with the outside world? I know that's similar to my experience. I have been isolating for so long because of my depression and I was only really focusing on myself and hardly on anybody else. My friendships, my relationships with my, my spouse and my kids and my family. And I just wasn't concerned about it. I had to focus on myself first before I could start building um, a broader community, a broader connection. Um, and, and once I started building my connections, it made myself improve. So this bridge got better because I was kind. And kind doesn't mean cheesy or fake or phony. Kind means kind. That means not yelling. That means, um, you know, being very soft and graceful in, you know, having grace for someone's flaws and not, you know, nitpicking them apart and whatever. We could be kind. Okay. And then, um, between all of them, it, it, you need all of them through all of them, right? So it, it's an ever flowing sort of cycle. So to bridge all these quadrants of my life, you need all of these things. And in the center of it all, in the center of it all is honesty. I absolutely 100% believe that without honesty, you can't, you can't have a good connection with your life. It won't feel balanced. It won't feel kind. You won't get acceptance and you're basically abusing your power because you have the power to choose whether you're going to be honest with someone or not honest. You have the power to be kind. You have the power to be, ex um, to accept others the way they are. You have the power to be balanced and find the balance. And you also can do everything with an honest heart with the honesty about you that makes you just live in your truth you live in your truth you stand in your power you balance the scales accepting others while being kind i just feel like this morning i woke up with the with the, with the way i'm supposed to do it the way i'm supposed to do it the, the, the grand daddy of them all that I'm supposed to realize here is I'm supposed to, I need to incorporate crystal noodles. Incorporate sounds like a really big fancy way of saying that I want to start making money or I want to start um, a business or I want to, you know, draw up LLC documents or <laughs> um, brand and market crystal noodles. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I need to incorporate crystal noodles. I need to come up with my mission statement. I need to come up with my list of policies and procedures. I need to have a set of standards that all noodles of crystal noodles um, follows. And we need to have meetings, weekly meetings, daily meetings, briefs, memos, we need to have um, hours of operation. We need to have hours of what, what, when are we closed? When is um, production time? When is um, delivery time? When is, when are our, when does the weekend start for our incorporation? When I, when I started thinking about it this morning and I start, my brain just started popcorning, like I'm telling you, different, different 
little kernels of ideas were all popping and I just couldn't grasp them all. I had to come in here, messy hair and all, um, just before 6 a.m. as I'm watching the sunrise. I never do that. I never watch the sunrise. Oh my, this is awesome. I'm so excited about my level of understanding of how I'm supposed to operate crystal noodles. Crystal noodles is supposed to operate like a freaking company. It has to. Now, I don't, I'm not in it for the money. That has nothing to do with money. I know that's why most people start a business, okay? My business of Crystal Noodles is my business. It's mine. It's mine. My business is my business. My business is my business, which means, let's just think about it for a second. If I am an employee of my employer and my employer has these list of procedures and um, operations and policies and operating hours and um, um, standards and, and expectations and um, everything, right? If my employer has all this and I say, hi, I'm Crystal and I want a job, blink, 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 they're going to go, hmm, we're going to interview you first. Do you need this? Do you need that? Do you need this? Do you need that? This is our list of our criteria before we can accept you into our club. It's not really a club. It's a job. And I, when I get in their club, now all of a sudden I get a special little badge. I get on their payroll. I go to an orientation. I learn all the do's and don'ts. I maybe have some preliminary training. They release me out and see how I do. They evaluate me. And then they go, all right, you're one of us now. Okay. And so it takes a while to accept me into their club, to their, to their, to their job, to their practices. So now we got Crystal Noodles, who's waking up with this epiphany this morning. I need to be incorporated. And I don't mean to say it like I'm making money. Just, just go with me for a second, okay? What I'm saying is um, when I meet somebody, I need to interview them. Some people call that talking. Okay, fine. But I'm talking about I need to have a list of things in my head of what I am looking for for a friend or a, um, a person that I'm willing to associate with. It doesn't even have to be a friend. But am I look, am, are they going to meet my list of criteria or am I going to have boundaries that are so flailing like I've had all my life? No, I need to be firm. I need to stand in my power, be kind and honest, and say, I'm sorry, it's just not going to work out between us. Bing. Right? Um, I don't have to say it like that, but I'm saying, like, um, I'm sorry you didn't get the position. Like, I don't, I don't want to tell myself I'm so cheesy, but basically I need to think of myself as someone who has policies and procedures in my head. I don't have to say them out loud. That's fine. Maybe I just need to write them down. Is this person going to meet this this um, this requirement to be in my life? Is this, is this person talking to me the way I want them to talk to me um, in my workplace? It's my it's my bubble. It's my bubble. I get to choose who gets to be in my bubble. I get to choose who gets to walk into my business and interact with me. Now I might have customers that come and interact with me um, here and there, but even customers have to meet a certain criteria. If they are loud and rude and obnoxious or, or maybe they're stealing or um, just being completely inappropriate, I can call security and get them out of there, which means I got to call on a noodle who's going to be the heavy and get them out of there, whether it be um, calling an authority like the cops or just standing in our power and saying, uh-uh, no more, get out. Like, I have the power to choose. I feel like I'm totally not making sense here. I'm going all over the place. Can you understand? Follow the popcorns here. Follow the popcorns. Can you understand what I'm saying? If I don't operate crystal noodles like a business, the business is going to drown. You're going to have customers walking all over you. You're going to have clients walking all over you. You're going to have um, vendors and, and, and employees. Everyone's not going, no one's going to know the procedures. No one's going to know the standard. People are going to be coming in late to work and not giving a crap because the boss doesn't give a crap. If you don't have a set of standards, if you aren't kind and standing in your power, 
your business is going to flail. If you're not balanced, and what's the other one, and you don't have a level of acceptance of others, your business is going to flounder. And most of all, if you're not honest and upfront to begin with, if you don't tell your employees, this is what I expect, this is what we need, this is what we're looking for. If you don't tell people your honesty to begin with, they don't have a way to know if they're gonna accept you. And they don't know if they're, they're going to be okay with the work situations and the work things and the work consequences. And if your level of honesty um, keeps fluctuating because let's say, okay, honesty, let's say one day you say, yes, everyone can wear sandals and shorts to work but then because that was what your honesty was that one day and then the next day you see everybody wearing shorts and sandals and you say no you can't wear shorts and sandals to work that's not okay with me <laughs> go back to business casual and then they'll be like uh okay but i thought you said well that was my honesty yesterday well today my honesty is this and then they're like okay um can you try to have some consistency here so that's where you come to yourself and you recognize that there needs to be a balance even with honesty like you need to say with yourself hey you know what i really don't mind when people wear um jeans once in a while or sandals once in a while but i really for the most part would like to see business casual on online employees so then you tell your employees, all right, how about Fridays is whatever day. You can do whatever you want just as long as you're covered up, you know what I'm saying? And then the rest of the week, it needs to be business casual. That's a good compromise or a good balance between the two things that you are struggling with. So I'm translating this now, I promise. I'm going to talk about my husband because that's the elephant in the room and the thing I'm not really talking about. As you know... I'm struggling a lot with this and I'm struggling so much that you probably see how much I'm struggling just because of how transparent I am being with my struggles, but you're not with my brain 24 seven like I am. So these popcorn of kernels might be totally blowing your mind or maybe you're following along. But anyways, let's go with me for a second. If my level in my crystal noodle incorporation is looking for the balance between my honesty and my balance, my honest, my, I want to be honest with my acceptance, honest with my kindness, and honest with my power. I want to incorporate, I want to incorporate a solution that isn't in fear, that isn't in hate, and that isn't in um, anger. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to, I don't want to flee from my marriage in hate and rage and anger and disgust and upset and and depression and sadness now i understand that my mental health is not so great i understand that it, it i can get triggered and i can go down the rabbit hole that i can't get out of for quite a while but when i'm out like right now i completely don't feel any association to those feelings i have no recall on how bad those were i'm in this different noodle state of being which tells me that I'm tapped into source, I'm tapped into my inner true self or whatever this is. I have no idea what I'm what I'm doing. I just know this is what it feels like. And I have no idea what I'm saying as I'm even saying it right now. My incorporation of Jim is to stand firm, stand in my power, and be kind with my honesty, with having a balanced acceptance. Is that all five? Yes. I want to be balanced in my marriage. Kind, accepted, acceptance. I want to have acceptance. I want to have acceptance. Okay, let's try this again. Musical, take three. We're going to try this again. I don't have any lyrics made up. We're just going to wing it. It's called improv, people. You ready? I want to be honest. I want to be balanced. I want to have acceptance and kindness in my power. Cause I have the power to choose. I have the power to choose. I have the power to lose. I have the power to win. I have the power to sin. I have the power to love. I have the power to be kind and accept people 
and be balanced and stay honest. I don't have to have hate. What's the opposite of hate? It's love and acceptance, right? I don't have to have fear. What's the opposite of fear? Power? Okay. I don't have to have hate. What's the opposite of hate? I think I already said that one. I think I already said that one. Kindness. I don't have to have anger. Is it the opposite of anger, kindness? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, I don't have to have depression. What's the opposite of depression? Expression. I can have a balance in the way I express myself. I can have a balance in the way I communicate. These bridges of understandings are coming together and we are going to create a mission statement for Crystal, a list of expectations of our employees, noodles in the head, and the people we associate with, our customers, our clients, our vendors, blah, 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 that the employees of Crystal all need to agree to a set of standards that we aren't going to sway from. And if we sway from them, there'll be consequences and all that. Does that mean I'm going to punish myself? Not necessarily, but it's a learning opportunity, a training opportunity, an opportunity for us to um, get better at our jobs. Now, I don't think we're able to ever kick any of the, any of the noodles out, but we could probably reassign them to a different job. We can probably reassign them to a different section of the of the building. We could put that one in the basement with his stapler. Stapler, stapler, my stapler. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of somebody. Anyways, I'm like really having a fun time with my brain this morning. It's fun. It's fun. It's almost like we're changing our inner world. Um, we used to have an inner world that we could see that looked an awful lot like um, Disneyland's Main Street, where the Main Street's just all old-fashioned and cobblestoned and um, with the little shops and different things. And at the end of Main Street, or maybe in the middle of Main, I think it's at the end of Main Street, there's a gazebo where live bands or performances are. And then further up past that is this, this dock that has a boat. And in way out past the boat is water. And Cyan Blue is always out there and always drowning. And if she's not drowning, she's on the boat. And if she's not on the boat, then she has swam up to the shore and is taking a rest from swimming so hard and drowning all the time or falling all the time. Like she seems to keep going on this cycle between the boat drowning, resting on the sand, 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 boat drowning, resting on the sand. Cyan wants to learn something new. Cyan wants what wants to learn to walk just like you. Cyan wants to be a balanced person. Cyan wants to stop what rhymes with person. Wants to stop all the cursing. <laughs> Crystal, you're so funny. I know, I know, I know. This is kind of a trippy little video, isn't it? All right. Um, so, as we are redeveloping our inner world, to maybe be more like a corporation. Um, we just need to be firm in our policies and procedures and mission statement. And like Brian said that one time, our core values, our core values and constitution of crystal can all still be very, very valid. We're gonna have all kinds of motivational posters in our inner world of things that we are striving for as a company why? Because we want the company to succeed. We want the company to excel. And what is our financial gain? I don't know if it's a financial gain. What are we profiting? How are we profiting? There you go. There you go. That's a good way of saying it. Crystal, how are we profiting from this if it's not 
fiduciary, if it's not financial profits, what are, how are we profiting? Well, you know what? We're going to profit in our relationships. We're going to profit in our work environment. We're going to profit in our children's lives and we're going to profit in ourself. Everything's going to come together because we're not leaning on one way or another. We're not leaning so far into being all about the kids or all about work or all about the self or all about the husband. We are going to find this overall arching balance that really helps us grow and become better. And yeah, that's all right. That's all. Yeah, that's all. That's all I needed to say. I think we said it. It took us quite a while to say it. And it took us quite a while to think about things too. I think that's all we're going to talk about now. Okay? Okay. Yep, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. We do know what we're going to say next. We're not going to say anything. Except maybe, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm burping webby boo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm burping webby boo. Burp, 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 burp,